What's up, everybody? It is December 14th, Thursday. We've got a five-game slate. Um, it looks like crap so far, but we do have a little bit of news that has opened up um, some value. But right now, it looks like a not-fun slate to play. Um, so let's just dive in, get started. Uh, first game up is Hawks and Pistons. Um, Hawks, the home team, and note, uh, game start at 7.30, so we get an extra half hour tonight. Uh, Hawks are four-point underdogs at home, 101.75 implied total, which is eighth out of ten on the night. Um, John Collins is supposed to be playing. He's probably in play on DK. I mean, he's not probably on play. He's in play on DK, but there's not a ton to like on the Hawks, so I'm hoping that um, something just pops off the page here when I grab their stuff. This doesn't seem like the game that we're going to be uh, trying to stack up. I'm not sure if you've watched the recap video from last night or not, but I had a pretty huge day. So go check that out. Highly recommended. <laughs> Obviously. Highly recommend everything that I do. Alrighty. There we go. Um, I'll take a look at Baysmore. I don't have any interest in Collins. I think Drummond, if Drummond wants to have like an actual Drummond game, he'll probably get Collins into foul trouble in two minutes, so... I'll look at Baysmore and Prince, but that's probably it. This doesn't seem like a good Schroeder game. I mean, it might not matter just because of five uh, five games, but Baysmore, 59, so he needs 30. Uh, big game in his last one, 46 fantasy points. He's been over 40 in the two of his last three, but the rest of them have all been uh, not as awesome. Um... I don't generally like him, but he seems as good as option as any. And I think I sort of need a little bit of every game tonight just to, for balance sake. I don't mean that I'm going to have to have a piece of the Hawks. I just mean, you know, there's got to be at least one piece out there. Prince also needs 30. Um, he's been over 30 in his last two, basically at it for his last three, uh, really coming on lately. I'm, I'm willing to take a look there. You just never know how the lineup's going to come out. I don't really need anything else from them. I would I would look at Collins on DK, but I'm a little nervous about him coming back. He's a little expensive. Now we'll head to the Pistons. Pistons 105.25 implied total, which is sixth on the night. Um, their minutes have been really weird lately. Uh, don't. I had been giving recommendations to play Stanley Johnson on DK. Don't do that anymore. His minutes are down big time. So we do want to look at Drummond. We want to look at Tobias Harris. We might want to look at Ish Smith, too. Um... I would assume that the Hawks are relatively bad at the rim with no Deadmond. It could be a really big Andre Drummond game. Ooh, man, nothing look nothing matches up well here at all. Just Tobias Harris, basically. Kinda. I'll look at Harris, Bradley, and Jackson. And ish. So Jackson is 5,700. He needs 27. Um, not really there in his last four. He can get there. A little concerned with the minutes. He got 19 a couple nights ago. Not the spot for me. Ish in a GPP at 4,000 looks great. 
he has the ability to have a big night in limited minutes. Bradley needs 25. Uh, he had an awful game in his last one. Hasn't been over 25. He's been over 25 twice in his last... No, yeah, I'm going to pass. It could be a big night for Bradley, but I feel like I'm force-feeding it there. <sighs> Tobias Harris, 33. Awful game in the last one, but the whole Pistons team played like shit. Ah, there's just not there's not a ton of boost there. Sixty seven hundred is costly. Drummond needs forty seven. I don't like anything from this game. I'm gonna try to avoid it. On to Brooklyn. Um Nets, 107 implied total. They are... Is that right? Did I type that in right? Every game, there's always one. Brooklyn Nets favored at home against the New York Knicks. 107 implied total, which is third. Um, I'm willing to look at Crab and maybe Levert. That's probably it. Levert and Crab both look good on DK. Uh, this whole team looks a little bit better on DK. Dinwiddie, um, Levert, Crab, Rondé Hollis, Jefferson. A sneaky suspicion this is going to be a big time Porzingis game. And by sneaky, I mean not sneaky at all because everyone knows that Porzingis is good. I'm not reinventing the wheel here. Okay, so yeah, we'll look at Dinwiddie, we'll look at Crab, we'll look at Levert. I can't I can't begin to like try to hash out the center thing now. They've got Okafor, Jared Allen, Tyler Zeller. Um, I need to see them all be on the same court and see what kind of minutes they get. So Dinwiddie, Allen Crab, and Levert. Dinwiddie is at seventy seven hundred, so he needs just under 40. Um, he hit 40 in the last one. He's been over 30 in three of his last six. Not a lot of point guard defense, so I'm, I'm willing to entertain it. I wouldn't seek it out, but on a five-game slate, you know, sometimes you have to make some concessions. Karis Levert, 6,100, so that's 30. He's done that in three of his last six including one big 54-point barrage. No reason to uh, ignore him, at least. And then Alan Crabb, 4,700, is 24. Did it in the last one. That's been his best game since he's been back. Um, he is getting the minutes in the last three. 30 plus minutes in his last three games. You know, they have a night of rest. So, I'm willing to entertain that as well. I don't see anything else for me on FanDuel. And I think you could take a look at Rondé Hollis Jefferson on DK. To the Knicks, 105.5 implied total, which is fifth on the night. And, um... They're a weird team, man. Brandon Knight. Brandon and Knight. Brevin Knight. So many Knights. Jordan Knight. Knight Rider. Okay. Oh, yeah. Gonna be a Zinger Knight. Oh, he's up to 10, too. That's butt puckerable. Uh, we want to look at Courtney Lee. Um, I'll look at McBuckets. No, I won't. I'll look at Cantor. Everything's in play on the Knicks. Let's go. Okay. Jarrett Jack needs 25. Uh, he he's in and around there a lot, but I'm not going to go with it. Nor will I go with Frankie Smokes, although you can entertain that on DK if you'd like. Courtney Lee, 
needs 26. Um, he's been over 30 in three of his last seven, although admittedly they're in an older set. But he can get to 25. Uh, so I, I like that. I'll pass him. Well, McBuckets is 3,600. I gotta remember that he's just not very good. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on McBuckets. Interesting punt, though. Uh, Zinger needs 50. He's done it in his last two. I'm, I'm not really sh sure who's gonna stop him from doing that on the Nets. So, right now he's the key to my lineup. A lot of games to go, though. And then Cantor, 67, so that's 33. Hasn't really been there with uh, Porzingis back. Does have a decent matchup, though. Especially if you think that um, Jaleel is going to play some solid minutes. No need to force it, though. Next we'll head to Cleveland. Cleveland with a 114.25 implied total, which is first on the night. They are 9.5 point favorites at home against the Lakers. Kind of wish this game was in L.A. It'd be a little LeBron James showcase for next year. So I definitely want to take a look at Braun. I don't really see a ton of other interesting info here. Um... Somebody will go off, and the optimizer is going to love the living hell out of Dwayne Wade. I don't necessarily feel the same way, but I feel like I'm going to have to play him just because of the way that it works. Wow, LeBron is 12-6. Good googly moogly. That's so expensive. Oh my god, he needs 63. That's frightening. That's absolutely frightening. Okay, Wade needs 26, which he has done three times in his last seven, but they are the three oldest. In his three most recent games, he's been bad, but he is coming off pretty extended rest, which makes me... At least a little happy. All signs point to him being able to get there, so it's just a, sort of about the game itself. And he'll have... I don't Somebody shitty guarding him, probably. Who guards? Ingram can't guard LeBron. He'd run right through him. KCP? Is he big enough? I don't know. Nobody is, I guess. Kevin Love needs 40... Um, yeah, that's not for me. I don't really see anything else for Cleveland, which is concerning because of their total. So there might be something I'll need to focus on a little bit later tonight, depending on where the news comes out. Then we go to the Lakers. 104.75 implied total, seventh on the night. at everything here. Ingram, KCP, Lonzo, Kuzma, every, everybody's in play for the Lakers. They're just softly priced. So we'll start Lonzo, who needs 38, we'll say. Um, he's had two monster games in his last three. Oh, I spelled Dwayne Wade's wrong, name wrong. Just in the last, I think it was my last breakdown video with the Cavs where I just talked about how 
I find it really easy to spell Dwayne Wade's name and just immediately fuck it up. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, I mean, Lonzo looks good. Who's going to check him? Calderon or, like, wait, the Wade? I'm fine with it. KCP needs 30. The minutes are there, but the performance isn't really. Don't really have much of a choice, though. Lonzo Wade, now I typed in. This is the perils of doing this stuff at 7 in the morning, guys. Lonzo Wade. Please, please don't let Dwayne Wade become Lonzo's daddy today. Ingram needs 35. Hasn't been there in the last two. Was there in the two before that. Um, I don't love that here. Randall needs 25. <laughs> In and around there every time. Kuzma needs 27. He is probably a better option. Nance needs 25. I think I'm going to say Kuzma and Randall, and I'll focus on that later. And then Brooke Lopez just isn't playing enough minutes to play him in cash. But he only needs 20 fantasy points. Like, he gets there, but there's no real upside. He'd have to stay on the court. We'll go to Minnesota now. Wolves are 9.5 point favorites at home against the Kings. Um, there's not really too much to worry about here since we all know exactly who's going to be playing for the Timberwolves. Tibbs is running those assholes into the ground. I've pulled up the wrong team. Shocking. Everybody drink. All right, so Butler, Wiggins, Towns, Teague. Teague needs 32. He's done it twice in his last five. Um, it's probably not the best spot for Teague. Wiggins needs the same, 32. Got there in the last one. Oh, they went to OT, right? Yeah. It's been awful otherwise. But I'm okay with it, especially with the fourth implied total on a five-game slate. Now, Butler, 47. Yeah, he's been playing really, really well. How much is he trending up? Oh, he's just been he's just been pretty good for since the mid November. Started off really slow and then you know he's he's hit his stride. How much is his salary up? Another five hundred. Salary's gone up fourteen hundred in the past week and a half. He might be the alternative to having to use Braun. Um, I don't think this is the biggest Taj game, but feel free. And then Towns needs 50. Uh, he's been there in his last three, really starting around in the form. Cowl. Cowl. Now we'll go to Sacramento. Ninety six point seven five implied total. It is tenth. It is awful. No 
nobody worth it for corner threes. Nothing really interesting. So no sign no thanks for Fox, no thanks for Hill. Fox is okay on DK, I guess. Nah, avoid it. Just avoid it all the way around. Frank Mason though, um, on DK thirty nine hundred. That's a guy you want to play. Hell, maybe on Fandle. He needs 20. Could be a pay down. Point guard. Uh, Bogdan needs 20. I won't end up with these guys. They're just, they're okay filler if I need it. No thanks on Zebo. Willie Colley Stein needs 30. Nah, it doesn't feel like it for me. Last game of the night, the late game, the one that has some value. Golden State Warriors hosting the Dallas Mavericks. 111.75 implied total, which is second on the night. Warriors, 11 and a half point favorites. Obviously, Curry is out. Um, no Draymond. No Zaza. Um, probably no Nick Young. Not that that's swaying any decisions. Um, but I don't need to look any of it up. Jordan Bell will be a lockety lock, lock, lock. Unless we hear something different. But homie should play... Uh, Play some minutes at uh, a relatively low salary. It's at 4,300, which is probably too high, but whatever. Yeah, we're looking at Clay and Durant. Durant at 11.9. So yeah, that makes LeBron not the play. Durant is the play for sure. So we get Durant. Um, Clay needs 38. That doesn't feel like it to me, although he's going to have the opportunity to be bombs away. It's just too good of a matchup. Iggy needs 23. I would need one more injury for me to be feeling really good about that. And that's probably it here. Jordan Bell on DK is amazing, though. 3,600. Automatic. Finally, final team of the night. The Dallas Mavericks. 100.25 implied total. Ninth on the night. Um, not very good matchup playing the Warriors. At least they don't have to go against uh, Curry and Draymond. Gives them a shot. Harrison Barnes revenge game. Probably not. Uh, I will look at him though. And probably Wes Matthews. No. Barnes. That's probably it. Uh, yikes. Uh, Maxi Kleber. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but he's in play on DK 3500. That needs to get bumped up one. So Barnes needs 33. It's been in and around that. This, you know, for this recent stretch, um, that's pretty decent. Uh, Steady value. Harris Barnes. Um, Dirk's going to pop in the optimizer like crazy just because of his price. I don't want him. Probably can't even stay on the floor with the Warriors. Ah, Berea. 27. Gotta look at that, I guess. And I think that is it. 
Yeah. I don't really like anything else. So that's the short list. It's actually a little bit longer than I expected. One center, Towns, so that's interesting. I don't know how I'm going to get to Towns, Porzingis, and Durant. I don't think that's even possible, so this will be uh, an interesting... Interesting exercise. Probably not going to be a Durant night, which is weird. It's going to probably have to be Towns and Porzingis, Jordan Bell, two step downs, Wade. Oh man, this is going to be a tough build. Let's let's check it out for now and see what we get on the first pop. This is always the most fun part of the day for me. Throwing in the projections for the first time and just seeing what spits out and seeing if what I mark down... Like, you know, naturally a lot of these guys are going to show up in the optimizer because I know what I'm looking for. Like, I know the value that's going to make guys pop up on the optimizer. But it's always good to see, like, who it really is and where the real balance is. Damn. No shit. LBJ in all 50. Really? I did not see that coming. Huh. I would have been... I very much expected that to not be him there. But I guess he is the high guy on the day. Alright, so Jordan Bell is the lock. I mean, I guess I have to lock Wade. So if I lock Jordan Bell and lock Wade, where does that move to? It does pull the zinger in, which I like. So let's do that. Who's the center? So Towns is at the bottom, and it has Drummond higher. But I won't go Drummond. Like, I won't go Drummond over Towns. So I'd immediately disregard that line. So that's three locks now, which is bringing Brooke Lopez into play in a healthy amount. Ooh, this is going to be really difficult. There's no way I can have LeBron. What happens if I lock Towns? How big of a haircut do I have to take to, to lock Towns? Okay, so when I ran the optimizer first, I had a projected total of 285 in the most optimal. Now with Towns locked, a guy that doesn't pop at all, I drop to... Oh, I can't run this lineup out. Oh, it's still putting LeBron in. Holy shit. That's the problem. It's 281. So that's not that big of a haircut. I have to get off of Braun to be able to do this. And if I'm going to get off of Braun, I think that the best step down is Jimmy Butler, who doesn't even show up. So the build that I'm doing right now will not be remotely close to it. I'm making too many concessions on things. I'm trying to overthink the numbers, which happens a lot. I'm not taking Ish Smith. <laughs> right. I wouldn't take Farrell. I wouldn't take Mc 
buckets. No on Caspi. Thrilling closing to this video. Jeez. It's going to end up being something like this. And that's a terrible cash lineup. So right now, I don't have a placeholder. Nothing jumps off the page. It's going to be a really weird night. I'm not sure how to get all the value in. And it concerns me that I didn't like any centers other than Towns. And like, I don't even see options. I can't imagine stepping down to like Brooke Lopez. I mean, maybe Kevin Love. You know, it's not as if I'm worried about anything on the Lakers. So it might have to be Kevin Love. I don't feel comfortable going Drummond. Although it's a good matchup for him. I don't know. We'll find out more tonight. Um, live before lock, starting at 6.30. Come join us. Had a huge crew last night. 350 people or something like that. Biggest turnout yet. We're growing like a weed. It's awesome. So uh, like the video, subscribe. Um, check out Patreon. Projections are at my website. Uh, check out Reddit. Um, uh, Twitter. I, I'm everywhere, man. Just come find me. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up. Um, but that's it for now. I'll be live at Lock at 6.30. Good luck tonight.